This is a protected intersection. It's a type of design that provides physical separation between vehicles and bicycles leading up to and while waiting at a traffic signal. A good protected intersection design starts with separated bike lanes. Having a buffer between the bike lane and the road not only feels more comfortable, it also allows space to construct a very important design element, the corner island. This island creates a forward area for cyclists to wait in that makes them more visible to drivers, and it also tightens up the radius for vehicles to ensure slower turning speeds. Where the bike lane crosses the road, you'll notice it's set back from the traveled way by about one car length. This lets drivers turn to be perpendicular to the bike lane to better see crossing bike traffic, otherwise bikes would be in their blind spot. Some protected intersections have completely separate bike and vehicle signal phases, which eliminates that turning conflict altogether. For cyclists, since the bike lanes are separate and set back from the road, right turns are a free movement as long as there's no other bike traffic to yield to. Sometimes it's not always possible to provide separated bike lanes on the entire road leading up to the intersection. That's okay, as long as the corner itself is protected, the design can still work. For contrast, this raised bike lane rejoins the road level at the intersection and there's no corner island. This is not a protected intersection. Cycling through one of these designs feels pretty seamless. Because of the buffer area and islands, the amount of time you're actually in the roadway is much shorter. And some include cool features like this countdown timer to let you know how much longer you have to wait.